Naomi Kawase's film adaptation Anne or an English Sweet Bean is about redemption, the rediscovery of joy in life told with great intimacy and tender. Sweet Bean establishes and maintains a serene and almost meditative atmosphere. The camera movement and framing is minimalistic. The characters' emotions are nuanced and subtle. The editing is slow paced and the music ambient. As Sentaro tries to come to terms with his violent past and the time he has lost while imprisoned, Wakana faces her mother's irresponsibility and must accept that she might not be able to attend high school. Meanwhile, Toka's illness has led to her life in quarantine since her youth. All three of them find themselves marginalized, lonely and out of touch, but their bond instills hope and revitalizes their spirits. <laughs> Sentaro works in a dorayaki shop owned by people who paid his debts and offered him the job after his time in prison. He's haunted by the violence and the drinking that dominated his past, which is why emotions never manifest outwardly. Spiritless, Sentaro goes about preparing the same dorayaki every day. It's because of Tokwe, an elderly woman afflicted with Libra, that he begins to open up his heart and his eyes as he starts to see the beauty around him. Yes, the act of making doriyakis and the doriyakis themselves, the details of preparing the red bean paste, and the simple things such as making someone else happy. Huh? <laughs> Due to her illness, Tokwe was sent to isolation with other Libra patients when she was just a teenager. Having been robbed of her youth and the experiences she never got to have, Tokwe is appreciative of every instance in life she encounters. <laughs> Be it the movement of the leaves in the wind, the sakura in spring, or the chance of making her favorite red bean paste. After Sentaro's reconsideration when he accepts Tokwe as a shop assistant, she is able to share the view on life through her lens with others, including Sentaro and Wakana, a young student who is struggling to continue her education. Wakana finds comfort in Sentaro's Doroyaki shop, and Sentaro himself acts as a caring figure for Wakana. As seasons pass seamlessly, the characters grow closer to each other and Sentaro and Tokwe's Doroyakis attract the attention and appraisal of the customers. Whereas before, the doriyaki was made with a lack of love, it is now filled with it, as Tokwe's passion for it also transfers onto Sentaro. Tokwe treats the Yatsuki beans with the utmost respect, as she does with everything, as though they all bear a soul, and tending to them for her is like raising a child. Unlike Sentaro, who before made Dorayakis for the sole purpose of repaying his debts, thereby overlooking the beauty of the process, 
Tokwe wholeheartedly honors the process, is utterly grateful for it and sees it as a conversation to be had. The dorayaki that sprouts from this care spreads the positivity she embraces and her presence beside Sentaro slowly starts to shatter the shell he has built around him. Even after the information about Tokri's illness circulated, when people stop buying their dorayakis, she finds joy by looking back at the time when she was able to work alongside Sentaro doing what she loves. The happiness she experiences for the little things and her strong spirit of life, despite the immense hardship and injustice she has faced and still faces, motivates the people around her to adapt a similar perspective. A perspective in which we are more mindful about the things surrounding us, about the actions we do and their repercussions. We pay more attention to details and will never take anything anymore for granted. <laughs>